that thousands of Missouri families are struggling to make ends meet. They're struggling to put food on the table. They're struggling to pay their rent, struggling to make sure their children have what they need. For families in this situation, life is not easy. Every day is a struggle. Many people who face this reality have jobs. In fact, sometimes they're working hard at two or three jobs. They're working hard doing everything they can, but sometimes that's simply not enough. So thousands of Missourians turn to payday loans to help make ends meet. They go to these one-stop shops on a Tuesday or Wednesday to get an advance in their paycheck. And when Friday comes, they get nailed with astronomical interest rates and a vicious cycle of debt begins. The average in our state right here, to get down to the, the heart of this, the average payday loan in Missouri last year came with an APR, an average rate, of 422%. Yeah, that's 422%. Under current Missouri law, the payday loan industry can charge people up to 1,950% APR. This is outrageous and unacceptable. In Missouri, payday lenders are also allowed to engage in what is called renewed loans, which basically allow people to extend their period of the payment on a loan, but the interest rate climbs and climbs at outrageous rates. According to our most recent numbers in the Division of Finance, Missourians pay more than $300 million a year in fees and interests on payday loans. That is second in the nation in real dollars, only behind California. And obviously, California is quite a bit bigger than Missouri. All of our border states have outlawed this practice, and it's time for Missouri to do the same. Let's be clear. Nobody takes out a payday loan as part of some investment strategy or on the advice of some accountant. They take out payday loans because they have to feed their children and they have nowhere else to turn. These are some of our most hardworking people, two and three jobs, but also our most vulnerable. The payday loan industry in our state is making millions of dollars each year off these people's backs, our most vulnerable workers. Now, we've been calling for major reform of the payday loan industry for many years, but the problem is only getting worse. The time for real action is now, and that's what all of us are here today committed to doing. So what can we need to do? What can we do? We need to make major reforms legislatively in the payday loan industry. First and foremost, cap these outrageous rates. Your credit card company is not allowed to charge an APR of 400%, and neither should your payday lender. We believe that something that more comports to what the federal government did for folks in the military personnel, about one and a half times credit cards, should be the maximum. We need to follow the lead of our border states and eliminate the harmful practice of renewing loans, basically restarting over after a week or two and beginning once again that cycle. These renewing loans are how so many Missourians get so deep in debt. The third piece is making sure that all of the consumer protection arm of the state of Missouri is in play to make sure that we have the power to go after the unscrupulous folks. And that's quite simply move the enforcement provision of this into the Attorney General's office. Me or whoever is there can use what we've done for years to make sure that we put the real teeth behind enforcement of these laws. Now, we as Democrats in Jefferson City have put forward legislation in recent years that addresses many of these points, and the Republicans have not even allowed it to come to a vote. That type of obstruction needs to end. We must take on this problem next session. We need to stand up for the thousands of Missourians who are currently being held hostage by outrageous interest rates and falling deeper and deeper in debt every day. These people aren't insiders. They don't have lobbyists. We must stand up for them. We must take on this fight, and we must stand up to this payday loan industry. I'm proud of the members of the legislature and the faith community that are with me today. I'm especially proud, as I indicated before, of Senator Ritter Days, who has been a leader in this. And I would like to ask Senator to come forward and have a few comments, and then others will, and then we'll take questions for y'all.